Okay, um, that wasn't straightforward. <laughs> that was difficult. Um, that doesn't work. Um, okay, before I announce, a um, few things I wanted to share with people. I know time is getting really close to five. Uh, some of the good things from the feedback from the judges and interacting with the teams that people were learning new things, people working collaboratively, sometimes they work alone. There was cross-team help, which was nice. Lots of things were under control, people using a lot of best practice. Some, some people were contributing a new language in, in one hack, which was great. People were iteratively preparing the presentation, which I thought was fantastic. There was a good kind of separation of concerns, good kind of management of the team, um, and also a possible acknowledgement in a publication, which was nice for a hack. Uh, some of the things where maybe there could be improvements, uh, maybe some better definitions uh, of use of uh, exemplars that you're using to, to, to really hit it home about the impact. There was some duct taping in the afternoon when everyone realized time was short, as to be expected. And the ambitious one is, it works both ways. It was great that people were ambitious, uh, but then obviously uh, when you're ambitious, you have to replan. And I think people fairly, it replanned fairly well. I think that. Okay, on to the prizes. Um, first, a big thank you to the judges. Um, Melody, Kenji, um, okay. Um, if I call you, if if I call you up, come here. I will pass you the the, the thing. Stand here. And Selena will take a picture. Um, okay. All right. So. The team that came second was One Click Best Practice. Woo! <laughs> 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 have a bag of goodies. <laughs> Now you can you. hack forever. <laughs> so Raspberry Pi 3 is um, 37 cents a pack. Wow! I'll stand with you. Yes! <laughs> well, I can't do that trumpet, though. <laughs> And uh, number one was Munro Meter. Stand over here. I'll pass you your. I'll give it to you. So you get a uh, you get a Microsoft research bag with an Amazon product. <laughs> <laughs> I have to emphasize that everyone did really well and it was very difficult to, to, to judge. We could have sat there for another two hours, I think. Okay, so uh, just a quick advertisement. A uh, couple of up and coming workshops. One is the Docker workshop on reproducible research, which is happening in Cambridge. Uh, there's links to this in the, in the bit.ly index file. Um, uh, there's a second conference on research software engineering, which is happening in September. Uh, there's more information there. Again, that's on the, the index file. And I wanted to give a big thank you. Uh, thank you to uh, our sponsors, Kenji, uh, Daniela who's gone, Martin and his capacity of local help, uh, to the staff here, to um, the steering, the wider steering committee, to the, all the SSI staff and 
you know, most of all, everyone who made the time and effort to come and uh, come and contribute. I think it's been really excellent. So, just to give you all a round of applause. So, CW18, CW18 will happen. Uh, neither the venue or the topic has been fully decided yet. I might ask you in feedback. It might be something to do with big data or usability or driving technical change or privacy or something else. It might be in Birmingham, it might be somewhere else. If you're interested in, ho in hosting a collaborations workshop, then uh, get in touch. Um, okay, there will be a fellowship program in 2018. There'll be more on that in, in September. There's other information there. So, have a safe trip. Speed Blogs will be in contact in the next week. Uh, please, if you had a great time, uh, I think everyone's tweeted and you're promoted, but uh, for the next time, please bring some more colleagues along. Um, feedback forms will be tomorrow or the day after, maybe early next week. Uh, thank you all. Speak soon and have a safe trip. Thank you.